Thunderstorms rolled through Cedar Rapids and Iowa City last night, but they did a lot more than that in other parts of the state. We begin our team coverage of severe weather recovery in Washington County, where Brian Scott is live tonight with details on one family's what had to be absolutely terrifying night, Brian. Well, yeah, to say the least, Tiffany, we're just outside of Whalen, outside of the Nelson family's house, and this is pretty much their reality today. Pieces of their lives scattered all around the fields out here in Washington County. You can see the kids' toys are laying around everywhere out here, right next to pieces of the roof, and even a little bit further up the street, if we really head up this way, you can see the car that was completely tipped over, put on its top out here in the middle of the field. The family's been cleaning up all day, but they say they're very thankful because they're all in one piece. Words can hardly describe what the Nelsons went through. It was just a nightmare. The kids were all in bed when the wind started to pick up. About 8.30, our power went out. Then Corrine heard it. It was like a whistle. It was like a really loud whistle, and I ran from my bedroom down the hallway. Straight to her daughter Mackenzie's room, picking her son up on the way, and not a moment too soon. I snatched her up, and I had both of them, and as I turned around, as I got to her doorway, her windows blew out. At the same time, her husband narrowly escaped the top floor before the roof blew completely off. 30 more seconds, and or if he would have been sleeping, he had been gone. The family made it downstairs, but the nightmare didn't end there. The winds forced their doors closed, trapping them inside, blocked from their outdoor basement. After he called 911, he busted the door to get us out of the house so we could get the kids to the basement. The Nelsons survived. Their house and things are gone, but Corrine says it's okay because they can tell the story together. That's all I cared about. Is then I knew everybody was safe and anything that was in there didn't matter. And I should mention, along with uh, her three kids currently and her husband all being safe, Corrine is also about eight and a half months pregnant. She says the baby, though, is okay. She did get to the hospital last night, got checked out. Everything's going to be okay there. And they also say everything's going to be okay here. They've got a lot of cleaning up left to do, but they are going to take a break for the night and start back up uh, tomorrow. And they do say they've had a lot of great help coming up tonight on the Fox News at 9 and, and on the uh, CBS 2 News at 10. We'll show you some of that great help coming from the community all around the area down here. For now, we're in Washington County. Brian Scott, CBS 2 News. Incredible story. Brian, thank you.